Well, I finished up the uh, couple pair of scissors I didn't finish yesterday. I got one more pair in the jig now. I'll finish them up in a minute. I got a. I had to drop those other two knives off. So I went by Barnes and Naval, got me a new magazine, and I went thrift store shopping. I found this cool little knife. I think it's a junk knife, but it doesn't say it's made in China. It says good cook. That makes me nervous. And then I found a nice chef's knife, Home 360. I'm sure it's made in China, but no indication. Then I found a nice taquito. Saboteur. Super sharp. Made in France. Well, that's a taquito. That's the coolest handle I ever picked up. I didn't know they made handles like this. Maybe it's some kind of new style. Or for all I know, it's old style. But it's nice. So I got a call. The guy says, Max, I just dropped some knives off at your house. You weren't home. He says, so I walked around the back of this boat and I put them on a swim platform. Well, let's see what's back here. Looks like nothing to me. Looks void of any kind of knives. See if he put them someplace else. Maybe he decided not to leave them. Said I got a whole bag of knives. Hmm, stand by, man. I looked in this boat, but they're not in the boat. He must not have dropped them off. Changed his mind or something. Stand by. Well, the guy that was supposed to leave the knives on the boat he got tied up. He couldn't do it. So I'm getting ready to go by and pick them up. He lives about one block in from East Beach at that big complex where I sharpen knives at in the summertime. So it's only 10 minutes up the street from me. And then a guy called me, he's got a bunch of axes he wants me to sharpen. So I'm going to run about another 20 minutes in the Norfolk and pick up some axes. I don't know how many or what they look like or anything. I just know they're Collins axes. Collins has been making axes since the, since the uh, Pilgrims arrived in Virginia, or in the United States, East Coast. Collins Axis. I know more about them a little while. Stand by. Gas is going up. I don't like it. Dollar eighty nine at Wawa. Dollar ninety in some places. Good gracious. Okay. Oops, the light turned green. Stand by, man. There they are in that bag, you can't see them. Stand by, I'll dump them out. Damn light. A whole set of Henkel Internationals from Spain. Eight, no seven. And then this one right here, which is a Kiwi brand made in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm on the way to get the actors now. Man, you wouldn't believe it. Got this great big double headed axe. What kind of axe I'll show you when I get home? A broken axe. Another axe down there with no handle in it. This kind of axe we find when we're relic hunting. This is old Collins. That baby as old as me. And one pair of meager scissors. His wife's. <laughs> okay. Well, there it is. Laid out. Scissors. Files. He said the files were brand new. Never been used. He just laid in his garage. And one of the big rain floods we had, he flooded out of his garage. And it's there rusty. They might clean up okay. And then there's a big old Collins axe. Not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. And this little here says snow in Sumatra, Maine. He's, well, here's a better picture of it. Snow in Neely. 1864. She's not in bad shape at all. 
and then there's this one. It says this is a council axe, uh, broad axe. I don't know what this is. It's got a stand by a minute. It's got something right here. He's in pretty good shape. He's just needs sharp. He's kept a good care. It's called a badger, maybe? Sagger. S A G E R. Some Max. 1927. Oh, I see it's Cray. Chemical Max. Okay. There's a Hankles. It's like four steak. No, I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna say three steak knives, a little small para, like a utility, maybe a slicer, and a small chef's knife, all made in Spain. And this this one right here, I showed you in the truck, it's a Kiwi brand made in Thailand. Okay. A little mail just came, and I got something in the mail. I think it's a knife. I think a fellow said he was sending me a Japanese knife. I was expecting a big chef's knife. If this is it, that's not it. Stand by. Well, here's a knife. I can see the point sticking out right there. It's a pretty knife. Okay. Got a rough rivet right there. Both of them's kind of rough. I don't think I can do anything about that without messing up that wood. Let's see. Fine if I lay my Kalamazoo horizontal, stand it, let it rest on its carrying leg, I have to rotate the leg down instead of out like this when I'm carrying it. And it stands right there almost perfectly flat. It does a whole lot better job on axes that way. I got them uh, started. I just need to finish them up a little bit. The other ones, the other two are the same way. Inside a minute ago, just started sprinkling on me. Well, the old Collins baby cleaned up nice. That little, uh, whatever this is, Snow and Neely. The boat axe. I call it boat axe. The broad axe is what it's called. You see a lot of boat people who use these, making wooden boats. The double bladed, as the label says, chemical axe. Is okay, and the files turn out fair, I think, compared to what.
what they were. They looked bad that way, but looking on this way, they don't look too bad. Okay, the knives are done too, so I'm done. I gotta go give everything a bath. Except for this, I just give this a bath with a rag. Stand by.